Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to prevent your drone from flipping out everywhere on takeoff. So, there's a few things you have to check out. On every flight controller, there's a small arrow pointing forward. And that arrow, when building, has to be pointed actually forward. Also, make sure that numbers are in your ERC, they're usually labeled like right here, like there's one, two, there's three back here, but it's kind of hard to see. There's three back here. And then there's four up in here, which is impossible to see. So one, two, three, four. Make sure that motor one is the back right one. The motor two is the front right one. The motor three is the right back one. Sorry, left back one. And the motor four is the front left one. Another thing to check is to make sure that your motors are spinning in the right direction. So this motor has to be spinning. So these two motors have to be spinning the, the, the same way and these two motors have to be spinning the opposite way. So there's two ways you can configure your drone. There's props out, which is how this drone is configured right now. And there, that means that the prop rails are spinning like this and they're like on the back of the drone, they're spitting the air outwards and on the front they're like pushing it out forward. But there's another configuration which can be done, which is called props in, which is the standard configuration actually. And it is where the drone is pulling the air in from the back and pulling the air in from the front. So just make mo sure motors are spinning according to that. Um, now in beta flight, I will show you how to check for your motor spinning the right way. So first of all, you're gonna have to get a USB cable um, in case, in my case, it's a USB-C, and just plug it into your flight controller. It's probably gonna be the only USB port in, in your drone, and it's usually a small, a small board situated in the center of the drone. So after you plug your flight controller in, now we're gonna go over to the PC and let me show you how to do everything. Okay, so now that we're in the computer, we're going to open Betaflight and select the right COM port for our drone. In my case, it's COM5. So when you connect, you're going to be greeted with the setup tab. Now, the first thing to check, remember those two motor configurations I was talking about earlier? So first of all, go to configuration tab and here you will see which way the motors are supposed to be spinning and you can also check which motor is one, two, three, and four. So yeah, you can see the motor direction in my case is reversed, meaning that the motors are prop spinning the propellers outwards. So to check your motors, you're going to go into the motors tab and you're going to plug your battery in. Now I'm not going to do this because my drone has propellers on currently, but after you plug your battery in, you're going to click I understand the risks, propellers are removed, enable motor control and arming and disable runaway takeoff protection. This is Betaflight's way of you signing your life off in case something goes wrong. For example, if you're doing this with props, I strongly suggest not to do that. So after checking this box, you're gonna just click on the master slider and use your arrow key on your keyboard to get the motors barely spinning. After you see the motor start spinning, you're going to basically evaluate which one is spinning the right way and which one is spinning the wrong way. So you can see on this preview here, which motor is supposed to be spinning this way. And this arrow here is the front pointing to the camera of your drone. So just make sure all of your motors are spinning the right way. If they are spinning the right way, we will talk about how to put your propellers on properly. In case your motors are spinning the wrong direction, you're going to go to one of these two links in the description below. One of them is for BLHeli SESCs, which is this one, and the other one is for BLHeli 32 ESCs, which is this one. In case you have a BLHeli 32 ESCs, you're going to go to the first link down here, and you're going to download the one for your software. But I don't have BLHeli 32 ESCs, and the process is quite similar, except that the interface is a little bit different. So you would just click Connect, Read Setup, then you're going to select the individual ESC you want to change, and then you're just going to change the motor direction, and click Write Setup, and just disconnect then. But since I have BLHeli SESCs, I can show you in BLHeli S. So you're gonna go down here to the latest version, to the assets, and you're gonna download the one for your computer. I have Windows on my computer, so I'm gonna download the Win32, uh, and I'm gonna save it in my Programs folder. Uh, 
This is a modified version of the BLHeli S configurator. So now you should extract this file and then delete the old zip file. In here you can just access the BLHeli configurator and run it as an administrator. So now that you open this utility, you're going to plug your drone in. Make sure while doing this that Betaflight is closed. So I plug my drone in now and as you can see it's immediately recognized. Then you click connect and now make sure your propellers are removed. So click connect and then plug your battery in. So let me just plug my battery in here. My battery is plugged in and then click read setup. Then here you have your ESC's direction here. And in case one of your motors need the, needs reversing, you can see the motor number here. And you're just going to click here on normal and click it to reverse. Do not touch the bidirectional and the bidirectional reversed options because they might have uh, they might cause you issues. I mean, they would definitely cause you issues if you select them without knowing what you're doing. So you should use normal or reversed and just reverse the motors that need to be reversed. And after finishing this, click write setup. After it says here, writing setup completed successfully, just click disconnect and your ESCs are going to beep. Then you should go to check the motor direction in beta flight again. Now that you have figured out your motor direction, your flight control orientation, your motor mapping, which is the motor numbers, and if you're running props out or props in, we are ready to put the propellers on for the first time. So, to put propellers on, your robot's gonna get your quad and look at it from the front or the back side, depending on which propeller you're putting. So, every single propeller package has two types of propellers. You're gonna have one that's supposed to spin clockwise, which is this one. So this one is supposed to spin clockwise to make thrust. And if you think about how a propeller works, it basically works that it takes incoming air and reflects it downwards. So you're just gonna see wh which way the blade is tilted and you're gonna see which way it has to spin for the air to reflect downwards. So in case this propeller has to spin this way, which is actually just clockwise. Also, uh, I get asked a lot, which is the right way to mount your prop? Is it this way? Or this way. Well, on this propeller it's quite easy because it has a lot of markings on the top. But some propellers are not going to have this and they might have just a small number like this one here written on the top. That number always goes facing forward. So it now depending on your drone or uh, setup, if you're running props out or props in, you're just going to do depending on that. In this case I'm running props out so the clockwise prop goes on motor number two which is the front left one. Sorry, front right one. It's getting me confused too, so it's not easy to mess up. And here we have a counterclockwise propeller, so we can see to reflect air downward, it has to spin this way, meaning it's counterclockwise propeller. And to sp spit air outwards, it needs to go on this motor right here. So they're both spinning this way when the drone is running. And now to tighten your motors, it's convenient to have a prop tool. This one is this is a 3D printed one. And you're just gonna tighten your propeller until it feels snug that you cannot really simply move it by hand. So don't be too shameful. On a 5-inch drone with the uh, large thread, it's really easy, uh, it's really hard to break the thread. So just tightening, hand tightening it with such tool, such a tool cannot really do any damage. Also, if you're using a wrench or pliers, try to make sure you're not doing it too hard because that may break the propeller shaft or make the propeller very hard to remove later on. I hope this video has helped somebody. Have a good one, everybody, and happy flying!